Do you need to have a difficult conversation? Or have you had one recently that went really bad and now you're walking on eggshells around the workplace? Well, today's video, I'm gonna solve all of those problems. By nature, we don't like having difficult conversations. More often than not, we try to avoid them. And this is, there are a number of reasons. We're, you know, we're worried what's gonna happen, what the outcome's gonna be. Are they gonna leave? Um, we're not trained. I don't know how to do that. What's the process? This feels really awkward. I'm not really sure what to do. All of these things add up to us delivering a really poor performance when it comes to delivering this conversation. And I'm saying performance. So I'm going to show you today a three step process in which we can use to get the best possible outcome. OK, three elements. So here are the here they are. One is mindset. The second one is BIF, so it's using a process and a script or a template. And then the third one is to normalize it. So what do I mean by mindset? And it's not some pink and fluffy word. Difficult conversations do not need to be difficult. As soon as you start using the word difficult, then we're going to start attracting opportunities for it to be difficult. What we tend to do is we then start to talk around how difficult this is going to be, how much of a challenge this person's going to have, and then our stress levels rise, our anxiety levels. And before we know it, we've got all this cortisol going around our body and we're sort of shaking, we, we can't speak properly. And this is because our, uh, I'm going to use neuroscience right now, and this is because our amygdala, which is the around emotions in the brain, has taken over. That chimp is out, out of the box and it's escaping. And what that is doing, it is inhibiting the prefrontal cortex, which is just here. And this is your executive center within the brain. This helps with problem solving. This helps with challenging situations, thinking clearly, planning, prioritization. So if we've got all the cortisol around the front part of our prefrontal cortex, then we're not going to be problem solving, making making the right decisions, thinking clearly. So when we're looking at mindset, what we need to do is we need to start changing the language. So rather than saying difficult, we can say, hey, I've got a, a challenging conversation or, hey, I need to have a conversation. And also we need to just incorporate some breathing. OK, so uh, we use box breathing, which is four, four in four hold, four out, four hold, okay? And if you can do that, you're gonna calm yourself down. The anxiety and stress levels, as well as your, your cortisol hormones are, are gonna lower, which means you're gonna be able to think clearer and deliver a better result. And the best thing about the conversation, it doesn't need to be 20 minutes. It does not need to be 20 minutes. It can be two minutes, because what we're trying to do is nip everything in the bud, okay? So think two minutes, not 20 minutes. Now, the second step is the BIF model. So what does the BIF model do and how do we use it? The BIF model stands for behavior. What is the behavior I've noticed? What is the impact that that behavior has caused? If you can nail this, then you're going to get a great result. And then the intention. This is a get out of jail free card. So you're asking the person, hey, I'm curious, what's your intention? Hey, what happened today? They talk, you be quiet. Um, and then the future state. So in future, I prefer you to do X. What does this look like and sound like in uh, real life? OK, say, for example, you've had someone that's turned up late for a meeting or the classic in a meeting. They uh, are not paying attention, got the laptop out. So you can. And this is where you have to own the behavior. You can't say he said he said she said um, third party. This is you. Hey, I. Hey, John. I noticed in yesterday's meeting, as soon as Judy started talking, you got your laptop and started bashing away on the keyboard, showing complete disrespect for what she was saying. She is a real key stakeholder in the business. She knows a lot about this subject. Um, I'm curious why or I'm curious what happened. What's your intention behind that? Now, he could have had a really important email I need to get back to. That was a million dollar contract, for example, um, or it was it was just really didn't realize the impact that it has. That's why he asked the intention. Look, in future, I'd prefer you to keep your laptop shut. If you have an important email or urgent situation that you need to um, get to within the meeting, let me know. And then we can sort some of that. Are you willing to do it? Really important. Are you willing to do it? Yes or no? Great. I'll see you later. Really pretty simple that you can use. Biff model, script it out. But what you need to do with this one is script it, say it as you're going to say it rather than talk about it seven times. It's a routine. It's a habit seven times because by the seventh time, you're going to be so over it and it will just come out normally. Um, and then you just need to normalize it. So after the conversation, you need to check in with them. Maybe if you had it in the morning, it's in the afternoon or the next day just to check up if you've seen anything, um, you know, about it. 
Um, you know, have you got any questions? Da, 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 da. Um, because this is about nipping things in the bud. Okay. If, for example, it's a bit more of a disciplinary matter, follow it up with an email straight away and just state exactly what you said. This can also be used for positive feedback. So I noticed the positive behavior. This is the impact it had on the customer or your colleagues. Miss out the intention piece and just say, hey, I really appreciate you role modeling the customer service uh, behaviors that are going to make us successful. So continue to do that. OK, if you want this BIF model in the script A4, email me, reply to the message and I'll give you that, you know, for free. Um, I've also got an ebook coming shortly, which uh, you can just download. So BIF model, it'll give you the script and the template for you to use to have it. If you do this, sort your mindset out, use the BIF model and then normalize it. You're going to get a great, great result from that. And it's then just going to be part of your, um, your toolbox for you to become a successful manager.